real world is a maybe oversubscribed, overused term, but it's a phenomenal ecosystem that we've created. But what's interesting about real world, for the first time, we can actually get data which is real, not controlled in a clinical trial settings, etc. So I think this kind of brings it to life in terms of what we're dealing with today. Data that comes from IoT, EMRs, the complex genomics data, claims databases, patient engagement tools, and the rest of it. But the question remains, how do you bring it all together? How do you link it? How do you protect it? People are putting their trust in you, us, collectively. E360 is a SaaS platform that does exactly that, resting on 600 million anonymized patient lives. It's bringing the privacy, the linkages, and the capabilities to be able to generate insights. What's interesting about real world, it's not in one place, it's everywhere. The use cases are endless. I want to give you uh, an interesting example that, um, how many people know what protocol feasibility is? A few. So I know that this is, we have a, a heavy commercial side, so let me tell you what protocol feasibility is. It's very simple. It's what are the inclusion and exclusion criteria in a trial? So the way it used to work, we would take what we can from a data perspective, do all the slicing and dicing, and say, okay, great, let's get started. Only to realize 12 months into the trial that we're not recruiting enough patients. What do you do then? You have to start all over again. E360 is what goes in there and effectively assesses the feasibility of this protocol and tells you if the sample size that you're going after could be met, and only that, once you get there, based on where the patients are, from a geographic perspective, you know who are the investigators that you need to call on to help recruit patients. What are the sites that we need to start setting up? 